Hey guys, welcome back to the Med Bros channel. So today we have poor Beauty here. She's been in a lot of our videos. I can't see that. <laughs> what? what? That was that? way too happy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to be doing a Q&A video, uh, the one that you guys have asked questions about. So we're going to go through them and we're going to answer them. And Brittany's going to be the one asking the questions and I'm yes. going to be the one answering them. <laughs> so. I am the interviewer today, just like how Shaman's Q&A went. You know, there was a little bit of expose going on. Same thing here. I hope not. Um, Just here to make sure that people are honest. I don't um, think there's anything expose. Okay, there's plenty. All right, so first question. These are very in depth. That's what I'm saying. Okay, <laughs> no how about this? How about right. this? Um, what are your hobbies outside of school? Okay, well, that's an easy one. Obviously, it's basketball it is the main thing. I like to play basketball, watch basketball. All right, so what else do you do other than <clears throat> basketball? Um, other than basketball, <laughs> other than basketball and work. A lot of time being spent with Sarki. Um, he docks to me a lot on the phone. <sighs> yeah. I would say for all of us, a good two hours of the day goes through communication. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's that's true. Well, what do you, what makes you exciting? What do you do? I like makeup. Uh huh. That's and like fashion. basketball. That's like. Basketball. I like basketball too, though. Yeah, so I but like you don't play basketball. Yes, I do. Yeah, you count going in the backyard and throwing a couple of hoops. No, I play dog. games in in med school here and there. We watch a oh food channels. We love food channels. Yeah, but that's not something I do. <laughs> that's not like a go-to thing for this question. Okay. Um, Was that boring? That's already a lot. Yeah, of that's my a time, lot of things. That's, that's a, a lot, lot of things, guys. Okay. Leave me alone. What? Oh, are you single? This is the very dun -dun 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 question. I mean, yeah, yes, I am single. What qualities do you look for in a partner? What is this? I'm kind of shyly talking about Well, you? these are the questions people ask. They ask everyone have... this. Okay, sure. Why are you looking at me like that? I'm in my judgment mode. <clears throat> Honesty, loyalty. Let's do three. Let's just do three. Keep it simple. Honesty, loyalty, and, and like, uh, I don't know. Is there like a one single word for like being family oriented? You're describing a dog. Dog is not. Oh. Family, loyalty. And honest. Yeah, those but are like a dog. Any of those adjectives could, I mean, any adjectives to answer this question could define a dog. But what about physical qualities? What the? That's right? my I'm personal question. <laughs> I have no discrimination toward any <laughs> physical quality whatsoever. Right. I, I also think <laughs> Herman <laughs> likes a voluptuous figure. Okay, let's keep going. All right. Okay, these two are Moving on. Mostly. I got the real juice for you. Folks. I know. That's okay, why maybe, I'm here. Yeah, maybe she shouldn't have been here. <laughs> All right. Uh, where do you see yourself in ten years? Adult mode time. So. Yeah, probably gonna have a kid or two, hopefully two kids by then running around. Whoa. Couple dogs, couple, uh, you know, nice house, get probably settling into my first house. Um, and yeah, just, just being dad mode pretty much probably in 10 years and then working. Who knows what specialty I would have ended up into, I'm questioning it right now. Cardiology, GI, or I might have gone a completely different route that I don't even know of right now. Um, but yeah, basically that, and who knows what's gonna happen with this stuff. Um, maybe some, I'll be some dad doing YouTube, uh, and my whole channel will change, and this will be like some kind of kids' channel or something like that. Who knows? I don't know. Some unboxing toys. Yeah, something right. like that. Who knows what will be happening? But somewhere along that. Will you be living here in California? I don't know. Actually, that's a good question. I'm open to living in other states as well. I'm not. Uh, are your strengths and weaknesses? I yeah, have. maybe she can answer the weakness. I'll answer the strength. All right, Herman's weaknesses. Well, okay, yeah. Let me tell you a lot first, of them. Okay. Um, okay, well, the thing is, I think you should do strengths first, because if I come out with like a list That's of weaknesses, That's what I'm talking about. Think you're Let evil. me go ahead and say okay, strengths. Go strengths. Her loyalty, I think, is number one. Persistent in anything that I really want, I go after until I get it. Um, you're compromising. So like you're, um, Sacrificing? Yeah, like for any time that I need help with filming and stuff, he'll like help me versus if I ask like Shaman. I mean Shaman's nice too, but like it takes a little bit more effort to get Shaman to get stuff to do for me. That was not proper English. <laughs> um, it takes more effort to get Shaman to do stuff for me. Uh, like, oh, I'll like give you McDonald's or something some other time. But like Herman is like, oh yeah, I'll do it like ASAP. Herman takes all my Instagram pictures for me. Like he's really... Um, helpful. Yeah, that's a good one. That's that's a really that's. Now, don't flatter yourself. Here comes the. Jesus. 
Um, Herman can be very stubborn as well. So on to like on the flip side of compromising when it comes to something that he like really persistent, like he said earlier, like persistent on, he won't budge. Um, but then I don't know. I feel like I'm very compromising, just in certain very small things. I yeah, I would certain say things. He's also he's also kind of passionate in arguments where he gets like really invested. Versus Shaman's like very methodical like you are being stupid this is why i'm right this is why you're wrong herman's more just like i don't know <laughs> i don't know if that's a weakness though what's i i see where you, there's a weakness there somewhere it's just hard to verbalize i agree yeah. with that yeah um, there's not many weaknesses oh i know one i think herman's too nice to people no i think you're too nice to people no i think you're too nice no to way people. hell no yeah, you're nice to people. I bet you if you would ask like majority people you like, know in life, yeah. I think you're too nice to them. What what <laughs> motivates you? Yeah, that's a good question actually. What motivates me? What motivates me I think is definitely um the number one thing that motivates me is I don't want to have any wasted potential. Like I feel like I do have a lot of things I can offer to the world and I think what motivates me is I want to get that out and get and work toward uh, everything that I can offer and everything I can do and not waste any of the potential that I have. So I think that's what motivates me is to keep going and not lose out on what could be. I actually don't deal with stress too well, to be honest yeah, with you. you. I don't, don't think I deal with stress too well. I like everything um, very, very, very perfect. He doesn't deal with stress. I think I don't deal with stress well. I think I want things to go right and I think you only get one shot, shot at a lot of things and if that goes wrong, um, that really stresses me out and how I deal with it is try my absolute best and give invest everything into getting that thing back on track but that also cannot be a good thing if you don't have control over the thing you're trying to yeah exactly that's exactly where the stress comes from that's where the super negativity comes from in my life is when there's things that i, I cannot control to get back on that de-stress train so yeah not well honestly guys de-stress um Sometimes it works out, like say I'm stressed out about something at school and I mess up on a test or something like that. I will be all consumed on trying to fix my grade. I'll be, you know, mapping things out and really logically attacking that. But um, with certain other things that stress me out, you can't do anything about it. So you just engulf your mind with it and you just think about it again and again and from different angles all day, 24 seven. It can be really, really, really bad. Yeah. So yeah, not well in those situations. So I gotta figure something out about that. I'll let you guys know when I figure that out. I channel all my stress into things that I do, like activities, like I'll just make, like I like to be alone too, but I don't like to be alone and doing nothing. That's what Herman does. Or not like nothing, but he sits and thinks all the time when he's alone. I instead I'm alone, but I'm still doing stuff like YouTube, working out, studying. Like I can still study even if I'm stressed about something in my personal life. Herman can't do that. Yeah, I think that's fair. Uh, is there anything you would do differently if you could go back to your first couple years of college? Yeah, I would choose a different major. Um... And I would tell all the people doing just straight standard biology, like unless you really love biology and you love the options that you'll have when you're done with biology, unless you are you know, confident about all those things, you better pick a different major. So the biology, you can't do anything but medicine or go into something like, like really focused on biology. Like you can jump into like looking at animals or like, you know, doing some kind of biology research or something like that, but there's not a lot of careers with standard biology degrees. So just be aware of that. And I would totally go back and do something like molecular cell biology or something that um, I can jump into a lab and start getting paid and get a job with. What's your favorite Indian food? Oh, that's easy. That's easy. Wait, let me guess. Easy. You're not going to guess it. Why wouldn't I guess it? I don't know. I don't well, okay, know. first let's narrow it down. Are you thinking of a main dish or an appetizer? I'm thinking of a main dish where you're never going to get it. I know you're going straight to like the classic Punjabi. No, cuisine. I'm not going for butter chicken. Okay. I'm going for tandoori chicken. No, it's not chicken. You're never going to get it's it. It's not meat? Mm -mm. You're never going to get it. If it's, Chole? No, if you're talking about an Indian dish, Indian food, my favorite one. It's not at parties usually? Mm -mm. You're never gonna get it. What happens when I wake up and... Oh, alu brandi. Yes, that is by wow. far my... Can we, can we have some uh, credibility and authority 
give in to my Alu Puno teas right now because yeah. I don't think people believe yeah, yeah. that I can make a good Alu No, Puno. I would definitely say my mom makes the best one and then Benit can make a damn good one compared Thanks. to uh, how my mom does it. But definitely, I, I think, think I'm pretty close to mom though. I don't really think you could tell that much of a difference. Yeah, I think once you get the material together, you, you know how to. You yeah. know how to make it. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I, of course, everyone in the comments is going to say their mom's alu bron is better. I don't think to, so, though. We need to all have an alu bron tea battle between moms all the moms. Mom's is really, really good. Because yeah. we use a special type of potato. I'm not going to give away the secrets, but that's what my mom's teaching. She uses a special kind of everything in life. If we get any bigger guys, maybe we'll put together a mom's alu bron tea cook off show. <laughs> Can you imagine that? That'd be awesome if I did a YouTube <laughs> video on that. Did you struggle with self-doubt throughout your medical journey? How did you deal with that? Like there was a time, I think it was like my junior year of college where I was like, uh, it's like, do I really want to do this? That's when I really looked into everything and um, definitely self-doubt. But like I said, after looking around and everything else and what your options are and what the path to all those different things are and what it really, what the path to medicine really looks like, um, I decided that I'd rather just, um, you know, brave the tough path of becoming a doctor and actually going down that road. So there was some time to self-doubt, but what it took was some exploration of what my other options were and um, also looking into, you know, more deeply on what being a doctor is and I just couldn't pass that up. So I worked really hard um, and applied and got in luckily. All right, kids. Go wrap it up. So thank you for watching. That was our Q&A video about me and a little bit about Beneath as well. Not um, really. If you guys don't know enough about her already. I know, I think they know too much. Yeah, they're starting to get to know maybe a little bit too much, but um, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for being interested in what we have to say. And hopefully you guys stay tuned for the rest of our videos. We're gonna have a lot more videos coming out. Um, so make sure you hit the subscribe button. There's like a bell somewhere you gotta press. People will be telling me to press this bell. I don't know where the bell it's is. It's next or, to the subscribe button. I don't know, it's always, I always go to check it. It's hard to press, so um, make well, sure you guys. you have your own notifications on probably. <laughs> okay, whatever, you guys press the bell. <laughs> and then make sure you like and share and all that stuff. And thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys found it interesting and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.